Welcome back. Today I'm going to make a jumbo individual chocolate chip cookie. For all of you that are at home and you want a little something sweet to get you through the day but you don't want to make a whole dozen or three dozen of cookies, this is, this is your best bet. You'll make it, it'll be ready in a few minutes and you'll devour it and you'll hide the evidence. All right, so here's what I need today. I need a mixing bowl and to that I'm gonna add two tablespoons of unsalted melted and then cooled butter. You don't want it to be hot. If it's hot, what it's ultimately gonna do is end up cooking your egg yolk when you put it in and you want that to cook in the oven. So to the two tablespoons of unsalted butter, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of light brown sugar, one heaping tablespoon of regular granulated sugar. Heaping means that I didn't level it off when I measured it, I let it stay mounded. Mix these together. Again, you don't need a hand mixer or anything electric to do this. You can simply do this by hand in your own kitchen. I've been seeing a lot of birthdays lately, and this might be a really nice idea for all the parents at home with their kids and they need to make something special for mom or dad or, or someone else in the family. Quickly make them up one individual cookie, present it to them with happy birthday wishes. All right, so I've got my butter and my sugars together. Now to that, I'm gonna add one egg yolk and one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Be sure to get all of it in. Always wanna scrape every little last bit out. Remember, it's just one cookie, so there's small amounts, and make sure you get it all in. All right. Next step, I'm gonna to sift together one third of a cup all-purpose flour, and one eighth of a teaspoon each of regular iodized salt, and baking soda. Mix it in. Don't over mix it or your cookie will be tough. All right, it's just about almost fully incorporated and at this time I'm gonna add my chocolate chips. I have a quarter cup of mini chocolate uh, Hershey's morsels. You could use pretty much anything you want in here. You can use regular size morsels, M&Ms. If you decide you wanted to just add like chopped cons to it, the choice is yours. I've brought it all together. Now the last thing I need to do is put it on a baking pan. I've lined my baking pan with parchment paper, but if you don't have parchment paper, you can just go ahead and do a little pan spray on it so the cookie won't stick to your baking sheet. And you could bake this um, in a, a cast iron skillet if you like, but I'm just gonna go with the baking pan. I'm gonna take all my cookie dough in one big lump. Remember, we're making a giant jumbo cookie. Put it in the center and I'm just gonna slightly pat it out to about an inch thick. And I'm gonna place it into a preheated 350 degree oven. And it's gonna bake for roughly 11 to 14 minutes. All right, it's been just about 13 minutes and my cookie's all ready to come out of the oven. Alrighty, there it is. One individual jumbo mini chocolate chip cookie. Um, I'd like to say that there's no judgment with this recipe. Um, when people ask you how many cookies did you have, you can simply tell them, well, I just had one. Thank you for joining me.